Hello, hello, how you guys doing? So lately I have been just crazy for sales and today is not an exception. So I'm gonna do a central swipe. I haven't done the central swipe before and I wanna use Artist Love Paints for this technique because I have been getting such an amazing results in terms of cells with this paint. So pretty excited to see how this is gonna work out today. I'm just pouring some paint to my cups and uh, I want to add some silicone to them. So here I'm adding just two drops of silicone per color. As you can see, I have a lot of gold here, more than the other colors, just because I really like this, uh, I believe it's old gold. Yeah, the old gold by Artist Loft. It dries really, really nice. If you like to use gold in your art, you will enjoy this color. Today I'm working on 12 by 24 canvas. I think the central swipe looks really awesome on a longer side of the canvas. Okay. I want to use wipe as my base color and there is no silicone in here. So since I'm swiping from the center out for a center swipe, I'm only going to apply white on the bottom and on the top of the canvas. So I think I want my uh, blue color to be in the center and I'm going to swipe with blue from inside out. And then I'm going to layer colors from blue, probably from dark to light. Yeah, I think that will look the best. The reason I didn't add all the blue in the center right away because as colors spread, uh, this the color that's in the center is gonna shrink a little. So I think it's nice to have a little bit first and then to add some lust. So let's see how that works. I have a little scraper as my swipe tool. So when I'm swiping, I think it really helps to keep the, your swipe tool almost like parallel to the surface so that when you drag the color, you really drag in very small amount of it. You don't uh, trying to scrape the color of the canvas, but just slightly move it over the rest of the colors. This little spot here, oopsie, I really hope it's going to be fine. Okay, let's do it. I'm always so excited to torch this paint because the way the cells open, oh, well, let's just see. <laughs> I kind of messed up this spot here and I wonder if I should try to swipe one more time, or should I just leave it? Um, yeah, I'll try. I'll use smaller spatula. <laughs> I still messed it up. Damn, what is this? Okay. 
but I really hope that cells are gonna cover this up. <laughs> So far this is looking really cool, but I kind of wish I didn't go so much in parallel motion. I should have made those cells a little more random because right now there's a little too much structure and I don't really like that. But the overall, the colors and uh, the way those cells are opening here, I really like it. I really like this transition from blue to orange. It's very contrasting and very vivid. So I feel like I don't really like those parallel lines in the cells, so I'm gonna take a risk and try to tilt it and see how this is gonna look if I get it moving a little. <gasps> Oops, yeah, almost dropped it. It's a little slippery. So I lost quite a bit of cells here, but this composition with the baby motion and those broken cells, it's a lot more appealing and interesting to me now. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna put this away and see how it dries. All right, my friends, so here it is dry. It has dried really nice and it's that case when dry, I like it better than wet. And especially I like it vertically rather than horizontally because this way it looks like a flow of river and I really like this movement and it's super glossy that's why it's very hard to actually make a video with it but you can see how this gold shines it's super bright and I'm gonna bring you for a close-up so you can see all the nice details At first, I kind of had mixed feelings about this canvas, but dry, oh, it's really good. I really like it. Looks very cool from the sides too. Let me know how you like it. Let me know in the comment below and please don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Happy pouring!